single women of God. This message is for you. Stop chasing men. I repeat, stop chasing men. Yes, it is hard to wait. Yes, it is tough to see other women are getting married and some that have been married for 30, 40 years, you name it. Yes, you're wondering when is your turn coming? But this is my encouragement to you. Hold on. I repeat, hold on. God is not through with you yet. Everything happens for a reason and a season. And I could tell you this. God wants you to wait for this reason as well. He is working on your husband. How can you expect to find a well, genuine man of God if you are keep on rushing God? Don't you know that the enemy loves it when you do not want to wait? Yes! He loves it when you don't want to wait. But God says, be patient, my child. Hold on, because he have something better in store for you. Don't you know that God doesn't want women to chase men? Didn't you know that he who find a wife find of a good thing? Let me read that in the Bible for you. Whoso findeth a wife, findeth a good thing, and obtaineth favor of the Lord. Proverbs chapter 18 verses 22. It did not said a woman that findeth a woman. It said a man that findeth a wife. So, what are you doing? Is that what you're doing? You got to stop. Because God created woman from man. When, he, when Adam find, found his eyes on Eve, he said, flesh of my flesh. Bones of my bones. You could read it in Genesis. He know that Eve was taken from him. His part of him was is, is a part of him. In other words, woman of God, a wife completes her husband. The question is, are you ready to complete another man? But how can you complete another man who is a human being and you don't even complete your relationship with God? It cannot work. A real godly man wants a real godly woman. You think it looks attractive to see you trying to chase a man? Most men don't like that. You, some of you all go so far as to got to dress up like a prostitute, act like a prostitute in the church when you see a wonderful young single man. Even I was there once. Had women grabbing me on the side and want to talk to me. Had them want to hug me and want me to kiss them in, in their neck. You name it. And to see other men of God speaking about this too. I realized I wasn't the only one. And this is not good. 
If you behave like a prostitute, believe you me, you're only gonna get a pimp. Who values you for your body and not for your spirit, mind, soul, and above all, who does not see you as a child of God. Because you're acting like a prostitute. You don't need to have your breasts out and dress up short dresses and tight pants and all that, leggings and all that in the church to get a man's attention. You don't need to be going in front of a man's face when he's sitting down in the congregation. Hi, brother, how are you doing with your breasts in his face? Some of you laughing right now and thinking this, ha ha ha, this is funny. Yeah, this brother is funny. But some of you are guilty of this and need to repent. This is not good. And one of the biggest reasons I could tell you, or I should say, one of the biggest reasons of all, that you are not finding the right man, or should I say the right man, is not finding you is because you need to do some homework. You need to clean up yourself. You need to change your dressing, your appearance. You need to change the whatever you like to listen to, whatever you like to read, whatever you like to watch. Because only way a true man of God will find you to be a true woman of God is if he sees God in you. Because God sees you. You don't think God knows that you're watching on godly shows, on godly mo movies. How oh, can you tell me you're a woman of God and you're watching Love and Hip Hop and uh, Vampire Diaries and whatever really show out there, Fifty Shades of Grey, uh, whatever shows, I don't follow TV, Scandal, Empire, Star, whatever TV show and movies they're going out there. How can you be tell me you're a woman of God? And you're listening to secular music, love songs. You got to listen to Mario. You got to listen to. You got to listen to Drake, Beyonce, Nicki Minaj, Cardi B, and whoever is out there. And some of y'all maybe say, well, I don't listen to that. I like slow jams. Well, you think God is going to send a true man of God to you and you are entertaining your spirit with Jezebel, the spirit of Jezebel, the music of Jezebel, the television of Jezebel, the radio of Jezebel, the books of Jezebel. Some of you got romance books with men in six abs, you name it. Some of y'all also doing something that's worse besides entertainment. Some of you all are gossiping with other people on the phone in person about people. And you expect to find a true man of God? Every time I come meet a I come across and meet a woman that said to be godly, I feel disappointed. Because she, when I hear her music, if, if, if it is a ringtone, voice cartel, uh, she talking with her colleagues at work about bird boxing, love and hit hop and stuff like that. And I'm like, in my mind, how can you tell me you're a woman of God and you know these things? And also, when they bad talk each other, sometimes it's workplaces, 
sometimes it could be in a public environment like the library or somewhere in town sometimes even outside of or inside of a church and you're like how can this be so with that being said women of god work on you and let god be god in your life and above all that seek god on what to work on don't do it alone you can say well god have me but your life have to show that he has you because god god is not pleased learn from the 10 virgins five were wise and five were foolish the five ones prepared for god So, with that being said as well, how can you expect not to prepare for God in your Christian walk and expect to be ready for a husband? Because you also got to not only prepare to walk a godly, holy life for God, but you must also prepare yourself to be a holy godly wife remember a man that findeth a wife found a good thing work on being the good thing and stop beating yourself up it is time to move on and stop holding on to pain because that's another thing the reason why many of you are the person that you are today which is sad but is a fact is because some of you allowed yourself to be broken for so long some of you are still sad over a lost family member or probably an ex or somebody family or friend or or ex hurt you but God is telling you to hold on and to move on and when I say hold on I mean hold your faith keep the faith in Jesus time to move on Give all that pain to Jesus. Give it all. As the old song said, Give it all. Give it all. Give it all to Jesus. So, God bless you. And have a wonderful day.